Now, I've been saying for the past couple of weeks that Battlebit is taking on the AAA space with their release, but the numbers that Battlebit are hitting right now have got to be a wake-up call to DICE, right? Like, like, right? I think back to the statement in 2014. Tw 2014, that's how long we have been talking about the downfall of Battlefield. But back in 2014, the boss of DICE, Carl Magnus Trodson, I hope I pronounced that right, he asked, like, what is it that people really liked about Bad Company? It was in a Eurogamer article, and it was in relation to them working currently on Hardline, one of the worst received Battlefield titles of all time. Maybe a little bit less than 2042. DICE. Listen up. Battlebit just showed the world, and I'm hoping they showed you too, that we want class-based gameplay. Get rid of specialists. Deep unlock progression for weapons and character customization. A ton of large-scale maps with destructible elements. Does does that like does that sound familiar to you? Back in 2014, Carl was saying that some people said they found the multiplayer controls faster and more direct in regards to Bad Company. Some people liked the single player and the characters and the humor. People love different things about it. It's starting to almost get to a place where if we were to make a sequel to Bad Company, what would that even imply? Guys, we, we just want a fun game, like first and foremost. We want a fun game that replicates the Battlefield formula that we fell in love with. And that formula is almost exactly what Battlebit is giving right now. Battlebit is the product of passion and the amount of comments that I've seen that say Battlebit reminds them that multiplayer FPS can be fun is astounding, yet it's sad at the same time. Battlebit is currently scratching an itch that DICE has left for almost a decade now. And that's not to say that this is a Battlefield clone. It takes elements from Battlefield, it takes elements from Squad, and they're doing their own thing, but there's enough overlap to bring over the Battlefield crowd, and it clearly has. Now, in comparison, we do know that Battlebit was only $15, and they also have the supporter pack, which costs more, and you get a bunch of skins for it. I'm not sure how many copies of that they've sold. Actually, if you guys bought the supporter pack, let me know down below. But regardless, the fact that Battlebit is pushing 100,000 concurrent players in the indie space is fucking wild. And everybody is watching and cheering them on and championing a development team of three people doing it better than the AAA space. And, and there's gotta be a statement about that. Like if DICE isn't looking over this game and the movement and the statement that's being made around this title with a magnifying glass, then they are just, they're completely out of their element now. If you're not looking over the fence and seeing what Battlebit is doing to capture people's attention, then why are you even in the space? And I'm not even trying to sit here and pit Battlebit against Battlefield, but the conversation has to take place. When so many people are comparing this to Battlefield and saying that, like, this is what they've wanted from a title from DICE for a decade plus, we've got a fucking problem. And as much as I am a fan of what they've been able to do with 2042 given some time, it's clear to me that that game is never going to have the triumphant return that DICE is hoping for. And I'm hoping that they're going all in on the next one. And if they're still struggling to figure out what makes Battlefield good, look at Battlebit. We want large scale maps, whether it's 64 v 64, 32 v 32, we want that with a higher visual fidelity, character customization, not specialist, but class-based gameplay. And this here shows that people work as a unit when you give them the tools to do so. Things like voice over IP with local chat, squad chat, and squad leader chat. When you give people the medic role to choose from, they choose it and they do it very well. Engineers the same thing, recon the same thing. Give us the tools to be deadly on the battlefield as a unit. Specialists aren't on the same level as class-based gameplay for the Battlefield formula, and this is just tried and true. Battlebit is growing day over day, and they're pushing 100,000 players. 2042 is struggling to get over 20,000 concurrent players. There is clearly a divide. We can take the price out of it. Most people are willing to pay more money if the experience is good. And at this point, I paid for the supporter pack. I backed them on Patreon a long time ago. 
I gave up my money to make sure that this game came to fruition. And I know there's a lot of other people that are willing to literally throw their wallets at you if you provide them with a good experience. And that is what DICE needs to take from this. If every employee of DICE working on the next Battlefield title isn't playing Battlebit right now and trying to figure out why this game is taking over the space, then you guys are mistaken. And I strongly urge if anybody is watching this from DICE, there is a formula being put on display here that you guys haven't been able to touch in many, many years. And my intention isn't to draw a divide or put a wedge between Battlefield and Battle Bit. My intention is to bridge the gap to get us back to getting more experiences like this from different dev teams, specifically from the dev team that orchestrated and facilitated the experience in the first place. I want Battlebit to champion DICE to make a good Battlefield game at launch when the next one comes around. And I think it might do it if they don't have their heads in their asses. Let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you guys are enjoying Battlebit. I am fucking addicted to the game. It's all I'm thinking about for the for the shooter space right now. And it's a fucking awesome experience if you guys haven't tried it already. My name is Big Brad. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.